Paul Dixie here. I recently tested out the Lanshan 2 and the Lanshan 2 Pro made by 3FUL gear while I was out on the Benton Mackay Trail. So today I want to compare those two tents. The first obvious difference between the regular Lanshan 2 and the Pro is the Lanshan 2 is a double walled tent where the Lanshan 2 Pro is a single walled tent. I know y'all have heard me say before that a double walled tent will do better in situations where you have condensation in the tent. If your quilt or sleeping bag brushes up against the wall of the tent, it's not gonna get damp from all the gathered condensation because that condensation will be collecting on the outer wall. Both tents set up using trekking poles, so you're gonna need a set of trekking poles regardless of which option you go with if you pick one of these tents. And they both have vestibules and a door on either side of the tent, which in my opinion is a must for a two-person tent if you're gonna actually use it for two people. But even going as a solo hiker, I prefer a two-person tent because it gives me more room for my gear and I appreciate having the opening on either side just the same. The outer wall of the Lanshan 2, so that outer rain fly, is made out of a silicone treated ripstop nylon that also has a polyurethane waterproof coating. The inner for the three season tent is made out of a 20 denier nylon mesh, but you can get the four season version. It's gonna be heavier and also a little bit more expensive, but then you would have a solid 15 denier nylon inner. I typically only backpack in three season weather, the spring, summer, and fall. So I don't really have any purpose for the four season version, but if you're interested in winter backpacking, then that is an option. The Lanshan 2 Pro is made out of a 20 denier sill nylon. Both of these tents have the same claimed dimensions, but if you look at the width dimension or what I would consider um, crossways in the tent, those dimensions don't really add up. They list it as 370 centimeters. I got out my tape measure and I measured the dimensions of the bathtub floor. Those seemed reasonable with what they had listed. It's kind of hard alone to measure the whole width from tip of vestibule to tip of vestibule, but it really seemed closer to maybe 270 centimeters than the 370 centimeters they had listed. So I think that's a typo they had on the original diagram, and then they just posted it to the Lanshan 2 Pro because it has the same dimensions. That's my guess anyway. So the Lanshan 2, as I mentioned before, because it's a double wall tent, it will help with condensation. Also, you can set up just the mesh inner if you want to and look at the stars at night if you want to, or just have more ventilation, but still protection from the bugs on a hot summer night. With the Lanshan 2 Pro, you don't have that option. While you can set up just the mesh inner, it's not as simple as just removing the rain fly after you already have it set up. It's something that you have to set up specifically just the mesh inner. So if it was to start raining in the middle of the night, then it wouldn't be as easy as just snapping on the rain fly. Another positive in favor of the Lanshan 2 versus the Lanshan 2 Pro is the Lanshan 2 has two pockets, one on either end of the head or the foot space, where the Pro just has one pocket on one of those ends. One of my favorite things about the Lanshan 2 is it comes already seam taped so you don't have to fuss with waterproofing your tent. I like to receive a product that is complete and is not something that I have to fool with. The Lanshan 2 Pro, you have to either seam seal it yourself or you have to pay for that extra service. And unfortunately, this kind of gave me a sore spot with the Lanshan 2 Pro because while I did seam seal it before I left, there was a seam around the bottom of the tent that I just didn't think about because it was at the bottom, but it connects to the mesh area around the bathtub floor. And that started leaking and I ended up with some flooding in my tent because the bathtub floor mesh wasn't sitting parallel to the ground. Instead, it was kind of sagging so water was running down that seam and into the tent. I was able to find a log and kind of prop it up and make that 
mesh to bathtub floor, more of a 90 degree angle to help mitigate the issue of my tent being flooded. And that did help a lot. So if I was gonna go with the Lanchan 2 Pro, then I would probably do a little bit of surgery and add some sort of bungee cinching thing to where I could kind of pull that bathtub floor up to the wall of the tent just to help with making sure the condensation runs down into that mesh and out onto the ground instead of into my tent. If I had known that there was an option to have 3FUL gear seam seal the Lanshan 2 Pro for me, then I definitely would have paid the extra charge for that. It was strange because it wasn't listed as an option when I was purchasing the Lanshan 2 Pro off their website. It wasn't like on that page as a, a drop down menu selection. It's actually listed in their store as an item. So you have to purchase the two items together and then I guess they know to seam seal it. But I wasn't aware of that. I just thought they didn't offer that service and I did it myself. And yes, regardless of whether I seam sealed it or they seam sealed it, the best practice is to test it before you go. And then I wouldn't have had this problem in the field, but time was of the essence. It was a last minute thing and that didn't happen, but it was warm weather, so I wasn't risking too much and I didn't die. One thing that I didn't love about the Lanshan 2 is it was kind of droopy on the inside. The mesh just kind of dangled down and would touch my head and it's not the end of the world, but that's just kind of aggravating when you're sitting up in the tent and something's constantly kind of tickling your hair. One thing I did to kind of help with that is I lengthened my trekking poles so it sat a little bit higher up and kind of pulled that mesh up and off of me. I also noticed that the Lanshan 2 was more fussy to set up than the Lanshan 2 Pro and I think that that's mainly because with the 2 Pro you're just staking out the tent wall directly. With the regular 2 you're staking out the bathtub floor and then there are also little loops that you hook to the same stakes to stake out the outer wall. So you've got two loops per stake in each of the four corners. And so that just makes things a little wonkier and it requires a little bit more adjusting and fine tuning. And it's not a big deal if you don't mind spending just a little bit more time with your setup. But when I get to camp, Something that's just as simple as it can be after a long day of hiking, especially coming from the through hiker mindset, then, you know, the 2 Pro is a little bit more straightforward to set up. While I think both of these tents are great starter tents or even great tents for people who have more experience that are looking for a new tent, don't want to spend an arm and a leg, I do have a couple of complaints about both of them, like the same issue with either one. First being the way that the doors are set up. If you're going as a solo hiker, it's not that big of a deal because if you put the tent out, get in the tent and realize, oh, well, I meant for my head to be here, but actually it's sloped up this way. So I'm going to make this side where my head goes. The doors are arranged to where you could make either of them work for you. But if you're going to use it as a two person tent and you're both sleeping with your heads in the same direction, somebody's gonna have the inconvenient door where you kind of have to really reach to unzip it. And if you're trying to reach out into the vestibule to do something with your gear or cook, if it's raining, then it's just gonna be more of an awkward reach for you. And somebody said, well, a lot of people sleep two people in a tent and don't put their heads in the same direction. Like they'll have one person's feet and the other person's face or whatever. So that would, work fine for them. And yeah, that would work if you don't kick too much in your sleep and you don't kick the other person in the face. But also that's only going to work if you've got like perfectly flat real estate. If there's any slope to the ground, then somebody's going to be sleeping with blood running to their head all night long. So in my opinion, it just seems to work out better if both people sleep with their heads in the same direction. So the doors don't work out so well if it functions as a two person tent. Again, as a one person, not a big deal. And also something that I would definitely change on either of these tents is the little ram's head hook that you hook the vestibule doors to. I would 
get rid of that thing and get a replacement that's something like the hooks that you find on the Z-Pax tents. Those are just much more straightforward and they don't do a twisty thing like the ones on these Lanshan tents. They were just kind of a pain in the butt to hook onto. And just something that's more tedious in my opinion than it has to be. So now let's get down to the meat and taters part of the comparison and that's with the price and the weight. The Lanshan 2 weighs 36.95 ounces and the Lanshan 2 Pro weighs 33.4 ounces. So that's a weight difference of 3.55 ounces. I bought the Lanshan 2 on Amazon so it had free shipping and it cost me $119.99. And I checked earlier today, it's still listed at $119.99 on Amazon. The Lanshan 2 Pro cost me $157 and then $23 for the cheapest shipping. So that totaled out to $180. Today, the Lanshan 2 Pro is listed as $190 with free shipping included on 3FUL Gear's website. So the price has gone up overall $10. You can also get it on Amazon with free shipping for $190. But if you're gonna get the seam sealing service, then I would assume it would be best to go through 3FUL Gear's website. I didn't see an offer for seam sealing through Amazon. Something to note if you're gonna buy one of these tents on Amazon, if you tap in the 3F UL Gear Lanshan 2 or Lanshan 2 Pro, it may pop up under a different manufacturer or seller's name. For example, the Lanshan 2 that I purchased was listed as a Kiki Live Ultralight tent, three season backpacking tent, etc. But it is actually the Lanshan 2, and they also have the Lanshan 2 Pro listed. So you might find varying prices and different company names, but if you kind of scope it out, you'll realize it is the 3FUL Gear Lanshan 2 or Lanshan 2 Pro. So today, if you were going to buy either of these two tents, there would be a $70 difference between the two of them. For me, it was a $60 difference. And if you're going to seam seal it yourself, then whatever your time is worth and the cost of the seam sealer, or if you opt in for the service, uh, it would be a $105 difference. And for me, it would have been a $95 difference. So is that worth the weight difference of 3.55 ounces to go with the cheaper but heavier tent? And then you have just a little bit more fussing with your setup at camp. Well, if you're on a tight budget, then absolutely it would be worth it to save the money and not go with the Lanshan 2 Pro. If you're somebody like me who has the through hiker mentality of man, 3.55 ounces over 2000 miles, especially when I'm carrying camera equipment and things like a trail cam, then it might be worth spending that extra 100 or so dollars. But that's a personal preference and something that you have to decide for yourself. But I hope this review was at least helpful if you're trying to make the decision between the Lanshan 2 and the Lanshan 2 Pro. All right, y'all, well, that is all I have for you today. If you've got any questions about my experience with either the Lanshan 2 or the Lanshan 2 Pro, then feel free to leave those questions in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Or if you've got experience with the Lanshan 2 or the 2 Pro and you wanna weigh in on whether you like it or not and why, then I know that would be helpful for people who are in the market for a budget tent. Well, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and we will see y'all next time.